Alright, so here we are at the range. We got Mrs. Burrs down there putting up a target or two. We're going to get shooting and checking out this V7 weapon systems build. This lightweight build everyone's been asking about. We're going to check it out. First fires work perfect. So we're out here and we are testing out this V7 Weapon Systems lightweight build that I did. I've had no misfires or anything like that, no duds, perfect shooting. This lower is the lower that we used on the SPR build. I'm actually going to be getting rid of my upper, uh, the SPR upper, and uh, I'm going to be um, using this upper on this lower and just using this 14 and a half pin to 16 setup. For SPR shooting so that's why I have this connect development group mount on the scope the 3x9 uh, SWFA super sniper scope here that's why I have this connect development group uh, mount on here so I can take it on and off as needed but no everything worked out well my closest grouping at 100 yards is probably about 0.8 of an inch um, this barrel's brand new so we still do get gotta get some rounds down range on it uh, you know get it uh, burnt in so to speak a little bit. So what exactly is on this build? I'll give you a little bit of a reminder the whole upper is V7 weapon systems So these are all their lightweight uh, upper their magnesium ultra light rail their one and seven twist um, Match barrel that's fluted to save a little bit of weight And I have a OSS banner alpha one muzzle device on here I have a titanium bolt carrier group by V7 Weapon Systems. So this entire upper is V7 Weapon Systems. Radiant Weapons charging handle. This is their lightweight version. And I got a B5 Bravo stock. And the lower is actually a Bean Firearms, which they're not around anymore. But I have their billet lower and their uh, trigger, their match trigger. And I have Badger Ordnance lightweight lower parts on this build. So what I have for accessories is I have this Cloud Defense tape switch holder. And I have a Surefire uh, Scout Light with an Arasaka Defense mount. And, um, you know, Magpul Metal Pro. These are their Pro backup sites. And I'm rocking Connect Development Group mounts for the endpoint and for the 3x9 scope. So I have their one-third co-witness for my aimpoint T1, which is my original T1 I've had for my entire life. And um, for this one, I just have a SWFA 3x9 Super Sniper Scope on this Connect Development Group mount. So what are your thoughts on shooting this today? You've had, uh, you shot it with the uh, aimpoint, you've also shot it with the, uh, the scope here. It's very lightweight, very versatile, very easy to maneuver. Um, once you get familiar with where everything is located on, and you're confident in what you're doing, it's easy to just move on through, focus, and get on target and stay steady. So you guys will see this build and many other videos down the road. I'm going to actually grab some grass over here and put it on here and put a different color because I, I want to have a third color on here. I'm not sure. It's probably going to be a darker green. But um, yeah, you'll see this in tons of videos in the future. So until next time, later.